I'm sure I don't have to explain to anyone that just last week Russia invaded Ukraine. Obviously, there are no words I can use to describe how terrible this whole thing is. People are dying and it feels like the entire world is suddenly less stable than it was just last week. Now, there's a lot of things I could say about the war in the Ukraine. However, I'm going to leave that to the experts that are on the ground reporting the political aspects of this. And considering this is literally the biggest news story in the world right now, there are so many different outlets that you are able to turn to to get the information that you're needing. But in this video, I'm going to be sticking to my own lane. I want to talk about the economic impact of the war in Ukraine a war that's been called the TikTok war because of how heavily it's being broadcast on that social media platform. And not only how this war is already negatively affecting the economy of Russia, but also what it means for you. Because naturally, the first thing that people don't speak about is the economic implications of war and how it's going to affect every single one of us by making everything just that more expensive. And that does also apply to you, no matter where in the world you are. Because obviously, war has a cost on so many levels and we all have to pay a price for that. As a final point, before we get into the video, I just wanna say that my heart goes out to every single person affected by this, in my opinion, pointless event of war. I personally don't think that war is ever the answer and so I'm not sure how much of a difference this is going to make but hopefully a little bit all the ad revenue that we are making from this video will be donated to the people trying to flee the conflict in Ukraine. One final note we have a newsletter where we pack a lot more information about the world of finance and freedom so if you want to find out more about that there's a link in the bio. Okay, so we do know that war is expensive, and by estimates, it is being said that Putin is spending around $20 billion per day to keep this going. However, one thing that people might not be considering very much is the cost of things around the world that are directly affected due to the war. Yes, even those that are nowhere near the war zones. So to understand why things around you are about to get a lot more expensive, we have to first talk about the world's response to what Russia is doing. And we can pretty much sum that up in one word sanctions. As a response to the invasion of Ukraine, much of the West has imposed heavy sanctions on Russia. You can think of sanctions as economic penalties, and they stop Russia from being able to trade with the world as freely as they did before. And with each day these sanctions remain in place, the nation is losing billions in trade. The sanctions put against Russia are some of the most serious and extreme that we've ever seen in a country's history. Russians have been blocked from freely transferring money overseas, and the government itself is being prevented and cut off from being able to buy and sell almost everything on the global market. And all of this had a massive damaging effect on Russian's economy in just a couple of days. Because of how severe the sanctions have been so far, the Russian ruble has lost more than 40% of its value in just a few days. In fact, the ruble has become so devalued that someone on Reddit calculated it would actually be cheaper to wipe yourself with one ruble note, as each ruble note is now worth less than a square of actual toilet paper. On top of this, Russia is terrified that people will sell off their stock in Russian companies. So to stop this happening, the Moscow Stock Exchange hasn't even opened at all this week, at least at the time of this recording. But that still hasn't stopped the value of certain Russian companies being completely destroyed. For example, Russia's biggest state-owned bank, Sherbank, is listed on the London Stock Exchange. In mid-February, only two weeks ago, Sherbank was trading at over $15 per share. But by Wednesday this week, just a couple of days after the invasion started, the bank's stock price has plummeted to just one cent per share. In total, this has wiped away around 99% of the bank's value, costing shareholders and the Russian government untold billions of dollars. In many ways, the war is costing Russia and its people an insane amount of money. And you might be thinking, great, they should be punished for invading Ukraine. And of course, governments should potentially have consequences of their actions. But what about everyday people? Is that fair? But because of how large Russia actually is of a nation and how much we rely as a world on its resources, it means that we will also be feeling the consequences. Here's how. Russia is one of the biggest producers of oil on the planet, coming in third behind the United States and Saudi Arabia. According to current global estimates, about one in every 10 barrels of oil we use globally comes from Russia. So by sanctioning Russia, we've disrupted about 10% of our planet's total oil supply basically overnight. And whenever some of the world 
world's oil supply becomes disrupted, whatever is left becomes even more expensive. And we're already seeing the effects. On Tuesday, global oil prices hit their highest prices they've seen since 2014. The weird thing is, we haven't actually directly sanctioned Russia's oil just yet. Because of how important oil is to the world, the world knows that it needs to get as much of this stuff as it possibly can, so we haven't actually stopped Russia from trading oil just yet. But because of how severe the other measures have been, it has slowed down Russia's ability to trade everything, and so it's made oil more expensive. Now, obviously, whenever oil gets more expensive, so does fuel, and over the last two years, we've already experienced a massive spike in prices of fuel due to a global health crisis. But unfortunately, because of the sanctions against Russia, this is going to make things worse. Okay, you might be thinking, uh, it's fine, I'll be able to deal with a little bit more expensive petrol fuel prices until Russia gets kicked out of Ukraine. I'll just bike a little bit, walk to work, do as much as I can and try to not use as much fuel. That sounds great and awesome. However, this is not just going to actually affect the fuel prices. It's going to affect a lot more. Every single item that you buy online or in a store has been transported to you from somewhere in the world. Maybe it's just been driven from a few towns over or maybe it's come from the other side of the planet on cargo ships or airliners. It doesn't matter how far it's come. What does matter is that oil has been burnt as fuel to get that product to you or it's been used in the production of that item. Not only that, but think about how many items you buy today that are either made from plastic or wrapped in it. And since plastic comes from oil, that's another way that the price of the things you buy could become even more expensive as a result of Russia's war. Our world depends on oil, so by slowing down Russia's oil supply, it means that there's less to go around, which makes literally every single thing around you more expensive. So if the disruption and inflation hasn't been bad enough in the last two years, we can thank the president, Mr. Putin, for making things a little bit more financially stressful for all of us. Unfortunately though, this isn't where the story ends because there are going to be other prices that we have to pay for the war in the Ukraine, especially if you live in Europe. Russia is the second largest supplier of natural gas on the planet and natural gas is increasingly being used as a source for the world's energy production. Europe is heavily dependent on Russia's natural gas with 41% of Europe's total supply coming from Russia via pipelines. In Germany alone, Russian gas accounts for 50% of the country's needs. But because of the war, Germany has just cancelled the production of a new massive natural gas pipeline from Russia to Europe and already the company contracted to build the pipeline has gone bankrupt in the last couple of days. For now though, natural gas is still flowing from Russia to the world as it was before the war started. But that might not last long and there are already serious talks happening now for the world to become less dependent on buying this resource from Russia. If natural gas does stop flowing from Russia, either them switching it off or us no longer purchasing it from Russia, it means there's gonna be a huge spike in prices of gas. And especially for those living in Europe, as if the last two years wasn't enough. There could possibly be some good things that come from the disruption of our energy supply. Not having to rely on another nation for our energy needs isn't all that bad. And since Russia invaded Ukraine, there's already been a massive increase in the price of some clean energy stocks and discussions about nations getting off Russian fossil fuels. And until these transitions are completed, you'll probably be paying more for your energy. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more of an insight into the things that are happening in the backstage whilst these events are unfolding. And also to show you that the financial implications of a war will trickle down to the rest of the world as well, because we are, after all, connected as a world. But more than anything, I think it highlights how quickly economic stability can can become unstable, as if we haven't seen enough of this in the last two years, here we go again. For this reason, I really do think it's important to take financial literacy into your own hands and really prioritize this topic area and make sure that you're not as volatile as you could be if you didn't put the focus in this area. As much as we might not like it, money does dictate the world at this present time in history. And so we have to be on top of this because nobody else teaches us how to be in control of our finances. So when events like this come into play that are completely out of our control, a lot of people are panicking because there has been no emphasis on something that rules our entire existence day to day. So because of that, welcome to our channel. Please make sure you subscribe, join this community where we are teaching financial literacy because we want to put this power into your own hands. Do subscribe to the newsletter. It is really, really great. It has so much information and it's going to put focus and emphasis on this topic for you. So you start taking this seriously. We are the solution. So please join us. Make sure you subscribe. If you found this video interesting and you think it's important for people to see 
this perspective as well, please make sure you share it around. And just to reiterate, once again, any ad revenue made from this video will be sent directly to people trying to flee these conflict areas. We can only hope that this conflict in Ukraine with Russia is going to end as soon as possible. War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing.